Hello everyone, uh, this is tutorial finite element model uh, using Abagas and here I am Pranav Ghosh. Uh, in this tutorial like I am going to show you how to create a W shape I beam with roundness effect in Abacus. Okay. So, first of all in my Abacus I am going to use this kind of unit force will be in Newton, distance will be in millimeter, stress will be in megapascal and density will be ton per millimeter cube. Okay. <coughs> so, <coughs> the part that I am going to create in Abacus will be W shape and the metric designation will be W1871 that means 18 inch depth <coughs> approximately and 71 kilogram per meter cube will be its uh, kilo kilogram per meter will be its weight. <coughs> so first of all uh, I am going to show you here the cross section the flange width is 194 millimeter depth for 469 millimeter flange thickness 20.6 millimeter web thickness 12.6 millimeter and in abacus you can you can make a round shape or roundness effect but there is on a little bit uh, calculation that you have to do so in manual let's say AIC or CIC manual you will see there is a value k and k1 find that value and using k you will find for w1817 roundness will be in 18.4 millimeter and k1 23 millimeter using k1 the roundness will be 16.7 millimeter so which is lower i'm gonna use that the reason is like if you use more roundness it can be ma uh, make your cross section a little bit uh, more wet or more effect so i'm gonna use a less round effect among these two one so let's say this is the a w shape beam so first of all i want to find out the coordinate point 1 point 2 and point 3 that is shown in this picture so here is the coordinate 1 and i find out in this way coordinate 2 coordinate 3 when you find all of the coordinate 1 2 3 then you can find the other coordinate by using symmetric so by using symmetric idea okay so let's start the drawing so here is the abacus you see the feature and here is the file option let's say the other option model viewport so many so in model one you see there is an option below that is part so click the part create okay so first you have to name the part okay so the part name will be w18 and i think 71 yes so w1817 and approximate size let's make it 1000 this is the size and this is 3d deformable solid and extrusion okay continue so here is the viewport now there is an option create solid line create line now you see in below i'll write down the coordinate and if i write down the coordinate it will automatically displayed in the port okay then i'll write down the next coordinate
so it will automatically pinned in the port then the third point so you see all the three points that I already write it over here. Now using symmetric idea, I will write down the other point 6.3 minus 213.9. Let us make another point. So it will be symmetric of that point. Okay. So that's that's the point. So I have to input another point 97 234.5. Let's say I input 234.9. I made a mistake by my willings. Again 97 comma it will be minus 234.9 but I'll put 234.9 so I'll, I'll just make it clear at the very end so let's say you put again the other point and I'll make some mistake by my wish let's say I input this so if that happens then what you'll do put Control Z, okay. So Control Z will undo your command, okay. So this ninety seven comma two hundred minus two hundred thirteen point nine, okay. It will be minus then make a little bit zoom write down minus 97 sorry minus 6.3 comma 213.9 so then it will be again minus 6.3 213.9 then minus 97 213.9 minus 97 comma 234.5 okay so now you see I made a mistake so I'll, I'll just check it so when you draw that you have to check that because if you made just 0 0.1 millimeter mistake that will be <coughs> a disaster for your mo model so you see I um, made a mistake a little bit so what I'm gonna do so it will be 234.5 I 30 I just put that 234.9 so I will erase that portion okay so how can I erase that click that and and if you want to select all these three use shift K key and just then select that and erase so then I'll just write it down as it is right 97 comma minus 234.5 okay so if you made a mistake you can delete that line and you can redraw it okay so for that purposes I made a mistake okay and that's it now skip done so I have done all of them as right okay and let's check one more time and that's it now so when you see all the things is right then done let's say your beam is 6 meter so 
the depth will be what 6000 okay 6000 you have to input as millimeter okay so this is your beam okay now you see there is no roundness okay and this is the option that is used for view so you see there is no round but in real real um, li real life we see there is a round fillet okay so how can i give a round so my roundness is in this 16.7 millimeter so how can i draw so there is an option create round or fillet just click that or if you want to see what what is the this is roundness or fillet this is chamfer so i, I don't want to go chamfer so just round go to round click that now select the s done 16.7 16.7 if you enter it you see there is a roundness okay so there are another three edges that i have to give the roundness so i will select all of them right now i will select all of them and if you want to select two or three more edges you have to press the shift key so i select all the three edges carefully don't be hurry so then then it is done and it will be 16.7 millimeter click that and you see all the edges has a round right so by this way you can make a roundness uh, in w shape beam now i'm gonna show you some more feature so w18 17 is written over this is the part and the feature then solid then section so if you want to increase or decrease the section click the solid extrude go to edit go to edit let's say you want to make let's say 8000 then put 8000 and okay or apply whatever you want so you can increase or decrease the length of the beam okay or if you want to make a change in your section so you can go to the section sketch and you can uh, redraw it you see there is a roundness that is like i already given that put okay now you see there is a two types of round round one round two you see i i give uh, the roundness effect by two uh, two different way first i use one section one line then i use another one so if you want to delete select that and delete that so now your roundness is gone okay so by this way you can delete your roundness effect if you want to change so you see the round one is deleted so so this is the way to draw a double shape beam with roundness effect so today is up to this thank you uh, bye and if you uh, like this video uh, please subscribe my channel and if you have any recommendation please comment below thank you bye